Well, perfect timing because we're less than a minute away from sunset. That suffering sunset almost looks like it's got some fangs as it starts to dip below the horizon. And well, Halloween's underway. Trick or treaters are out and about, and I hope that they enjoy this evening. Really nice evening after what was a scary evening yesterday with the storms that rolled across the area. And boy, did they dump some rainfall. Uh, most locations picking up one inch of rain. A lot of spots picking up an inch and a half, maybe as much as two inches of rainfall. We saw that back toward I-49. Branson reporting over two inches of rainfall. And when we look at the month of October, it's almost like that kid in class that waits till the very last minute to uh, cram for the test. Uh, Mother Nature piling all that rain at the end of the month of October. We had the rain back on Friday of last week, a third of an inch. We had some healthier rains overnight last night. That brings our monthly total to 1.67 inches. So while yes, it was a dry month, um, it's not going to go into the record books as an overly dry month. It really doesn't reflect that incredible dry spell that ended late last week. Again, we went 31 straight days. That was the third longest dry spell on record here in Springfield. Um, that was also our longest dry spell in over a century. Looking at dry conditions overnight tonight, that's going to make for a splendidly spooky Halloween evening. But we're going to be kicking out the Halloween uh, monsters and ghosts here over the next 24 hours as we turn the page on the calendar. And here comes Tom Turkey trotting in. It looks like a nice start to the month of November. We will find lots of sun. Temperatures look very comfortable tomorrow afternoon after a chilly start as we're going to get on the uh, return flow side of that high with winds becoming southeasterly as we work through the morning and into the afternoon. Temperatures tonight, they're going to cool off into the upper 30s north to low 40s south. Highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 60s. Uh, winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Football season continues. It'll be cool and quiet for folks hitting the stands tomorrow evening with temperatures dropping through the 50s into the low 50s by the end of game time. Weekend forecast looking wet. Now for Saturday, a lot of clouds, but I think we hold off most of that rain till the end of the day and overnight Saturday night. Sunday, though, looks wet at times throughout the day. Scattered showers and thunderstorms expected. Very wet pattern, very stormy pattern on the way with this trough in the western United States. A series of storms coming out of that trough interacting with Gulf of Mexico moisture, and there's going to be a broad area getting blanketed with rainfall. Take a look at these totals. This is over the next seven days. It's on top of the one to two inches that we had last night. Looks like much of the area from Saturday night through Monday night picking up inches of rainfall. The heaviest amounts to the west where some areas could pick up over five inches, but much of our area picking up two to four inches of rainfall. But we're going to get all of that out in time for Election Day. It looks like it's going to be cool and quiet for voters on Tuesday of next week. Bailey. All right. Thank you, James.